All right, so I'm gonna show how to open up and disassemble this Samsung notebook model NP740U3L. So first what you wanna do is remove all the screws from the bottom. So you can do this with a PH1 screwdriver. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Um, you do have to kind of put a lot of downward pressure when removing the screws. Make sure that your screwdriver gets a good grip because the screws are a little bit um, small or you might have to use a different um, screwdriver bit that fits it better. But the PH1 for me worked well. It didn't skip out of the of the um, screwdriver hole or anything. So anyways, to remove the cover, what you wanna do is, um, well, this one has a hard drive issue, so it's not gonna turn on. It's trying to turn itself on, but it just gets stuck there. Anyways, um, what you wanna do is, there's the gap here. So you just take your pry tool or fingernails and then go in the gap here, okay? And then I push on the um, palm rest with my thumb while I pull down with my nails, okay? Um, if you're using a pry tool, you'll kind of have to figure it out. I don't know how you would, I guess, just slide the tool and kind of just work it. But yeah, so just like that. Okay, once you get the bottom part off, then you can kind of hold this up. And then you can go around the other side, just like this. Okay, let's see if I can show this. Okay, just like that. And then same thing. You want to pull the um, top keyboard assembly um, trackpad area um, down towards the screen. Okay, that's how you disconnect the clips. Um, this side is kind of stuck, so let's go to the other side. Okay, same thing. Going around, might have to open the screen a little bit. Okay, and then just continue just like this. All right, this side's kind of stuck as well. Hmm, keeps turning itself on off again all right so just keep going around all right hmm it's pretty strong the clips let's try and open it and rest it on the screen okay so here let's see if we can see inside here you can see all the clips are on the bottom cover so oh no it doesn't want to come out Oh, there we go. Okay, you need to use a bit more force. There we go. Okay, so let's close the screen again. So if you don't have that model number, it might also be known as a Notebook 7 Spin. I guess I'll have to write both of those numbers down because most people might not know that model number. But anyways, just keep going around, popping up these clips. Okay, just like this. Let's see, are they hiding some screws under here? I hope not, it doesn't seem like it. Okay, so just keep going around. Push those clips in, it is a bit tough. There's something in here that, oh, one of the screw mounts are broken internally. They must have dropped this or something. Okay, so this is really tough to remove, it's pretty crazy. Hmm. Let's try and go around from this side then, since that side is stuck. Might have to get a long, thin pry tool, because on the back there's like a gap here that you can't really reach. If that's the case, you might have to use a tool like this. Let's see if I can pop it out with this. It still seems like it's stuck pretty strong. Hmm. I'm wondering if there's some hidden screws. It doesn't seem like it because the cover's going. So, okay, yeah, you just have to pull it and then push the tool in. So while you're kind of pulling the cover, you can push the tool where the clips are and that should help release it, okay? Just like that, there we go. And then hopefully we can lift the other side off since it won't unclip. Yep, just rotate it like that and the whole cover comes off. So this thing's pretty dusty inside. I'm gonna have to clean it up. But anyways, you got the hard drive here, and you got the battery. Let's remove the battery first. Since this computer likes to turn itself on, it's best to remove the battery. Okay, so take the screws out. Try and keep the screws in order. Um, they are, some of them are different sizes and lengths, so keep them in order. All right, so the battery seems to have three screws on it. 
So just remove those three screws, two here and then one here. Okay, and then the connector is right here. Let me see if I can show you close up. So the connector is here. So to remove that, um, there's a slight lip here that I use. usually will use my fingernails and try and pull, but if you can't, so if you can't do it like this, it's probably difficult. What you wanna do, let's see, I'll have to zoom out, is lift the battery up and then get as close to the connector as you can grab it and then kind of just wiggle it so and if you keep wiggling it it'll eventually pull out just like that okay so oh even the battery is super dusty so let's see clean off the battery all right so the battery model if you need to replace it is aa dash p b u n 3 q b so hopefully you can read that there, where'd it go here? Okay, so that's the battery model number. All right, we'll set the battery aside. So the two USB ports here are replaceable if you need to replace this board. It also has the wireless antenna. The wireless card is soldered to this board, so if your wireless isn't working right, you might have to replace this board. Um, you also have this connector here. I think that's for a speaker. Let's see, yeah, that's for the speaker here. All right, the other speaker is connected up here. So to remove these connectors, um, they're basically like the battery. Let me show you. So the connector here, I just use my fingernails on the wings and I kind of just wiggle it and pull it out. All right, sometimes the connectors will be difficult to remove. So you just have to kind of keep wiggling it. Don't just like yank really hard. Okay. All right, let's see. So the RAM is underneath this metal cover, it looks like. So we do have to remove the screws to get to the RAM. Um, after removing the battery, it's always a good idea to uh, press and hold the power button. Okay, so open up the screen. Since this thing likes to turn itself on all the time. Let's see, the power button is here, right? Okay. Hmm. Wait. Where's the power button? Let's see, is it attached to the case? Oh, you can't even hold the power button down actually. So on this model, the power button is attached to the case. So just be very careful since you can't press and hold the power button to drain the power um, because they use uh, little gold contacts with these little pins here. So if your power button's having some issues, you might have to replace this, the board, the small board here, because these contacts, um, attach the power button to the case. All right, so I guess now we'll do the RAM. Just take out the screws from this metal cover here. All right, again, try and keep the screws in order. Okay, so there are, it looks like six or five screws holding this in place. So there's four in the corner and then there's one right here. Okay. So this we're gonna be changing the hard drive to an SSD. So I will show that process as well. Okay. So just remove all the screws for this metal cover if you wanna upgrade the RAM. After that, you can lift this metal cover off. Okay, there's an adhesive holding this onto this cable here. Um, and the RAM is PC42133P. So if you need to replace it, this is DDR4 memory, PC42133P. Okay, so that's how you would change the RAM. This looks like it has eight gigs of RAM, which is plenty for most people. So there's not really much point to upgrade beyond eight gigs for most users. If you wanted to make your computer faster, I highly recommend changing the hard drive to an SSD. So to do that, I'm gonna show that now. Let me put this little latch down. Um, all these latches are basically the same. So to remove it, you flip up the little tab here. Once you do that, you can pull the connector out. Okay, to put it back, you basically just make sure the tab is up, slide it back in, and then push the tab back down. Um, but anyways, I'm gonna show how to remove the hard drive now. So let's see here, there are three screws holding the hard drive in place, it looks like. So just remove those three screws. Okay, just like 
that. Okay, remove the last screw. All right, so once you got those three screws out, you should be able to lift this metal caddy out with the hard drive. Then you just take the four screws out and put the new hard drive in. Um, you will have to transfer over this bracket. Let me clean this off, or this um, the SATA connector here. So to remove that, I just get my fingernail or pry tool in this little gap here, and I just pry it out like this. Um, if you use like a pry tool, you can just kind of like twist the tool and it will pop this out, okay? So that's how you remove that connector. So we're just gonna put this on the new um, hard drive and then we'll transfer this metal bracket over, okay? So you just have to take the four screws off of this the hard drive, okay? Just like that. All right. Then we'll set the old hard drive aside. The old hard drive is dead, so we can't really do anything with it. There are data recovery places that can recover the data if you need that, but they are pretty expensive. The cheapest one I know is it um, costs about 300 bucks. So yeah, if you're curious, um, just let me know. Okay. All right, so we're gonna get an SSD here. Okay. We'll reattach this adapter onto it. Okay, just like that, put the hard drive in here. Uh, I probably should have put the hard drive first and then put the adapter, but there we go. Okay, now take the screws and put them back in. All right, just like that. Um, if you replace the hard drive, you will have to reinstall um, the operating system on here. Um, there's a way if your old hard drive is still working on how to clone it. Uh, I have another video on that. Just go to my page and look at the uh, playlist. And there's a playlist called General Repairs. On there I show how to clone the drive. Okay. So there we go. Just like that. Then you can put the hard drive back in. Make sure the little things line up. The speakers, if you need to remove them, um, there's a screw holding it in place, um, but then you can just slide it out and just guide the wires out, okay? So usually the speakers don't get damaged, so I'm not gonna show that in a video, but let's plug this back in. All right, then all these other connectors here, this brown connector is the keyboard backlight connector here, and same thing, you have this little latch, you can lift it up and then you can pull the cable out. I'm gonna leave it in. All right, and then you got the keyboard connector here. You got the trackpad connector here. You got a slot here for an M.2 SSD. I don't know if this supports uh, PCIe, NVMe, or just the SATA M.2 SSDs. Um, this is a slightly newer device, so I'm assuming it will support um, PCIe, but you'll probably wanna Google that to make sure. All right, you got the connector for that small board there. Then you got um, a connector here. There's two connectors that go into the screen. I'm guessing this is for the screen itself. And then this is for the webcam and microphones. Um, but yeah, to remove that, you basically have this little plastic tab. Um, I have other videos showing this. Uh, since I wasn't able to reset the battery um, by holding the power button, um, I don't really want to pull this thing out, but usually what I do is you just pull this straight up and if it won't come out, I use my fingernail and kind of help pry, pop the connector out and then you just pop it back in when you're done. Um, this thing has a whole bunch of dust in here, so there's like a whole ball of lint. I'm going to have to clean this out. Uh, maybe I'll actually take out the fan just to show it. So the fan connector is right, oops, right here. So to remove that, just like the speaker, kind of just wiggle the connector. Okay, just keep wiggling it. Just like that. Just keep wiggling, 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 and it'll pop out just like that, okay? Um, there are two screws, so let's see. Hopefully this fan will come out after just removing the two screws. And don't forget to put the other screws back, so I have to actually put the screws for the hard drive back in. I'm just gonna clean this up real quick. So now we've got that. Here you can see the fan came out and there's a lot of dust 
clogging this thing up. So you might want to clean that out every once in a while. Okay, so I'm going to take this outside, use a toothbrush, scrub out the dust, and then use an air blower and clean it out. All right, but um, I believe that's pretty much it. Everything else is soldered in place, and yeah. So hopefully this video helped you. If it did, please like and subscribe because that'll help others find this video. It'll also help me. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. To put it back, just do everything in reverse. Um, you probably want to put this side back in first. This side, just like before how it came out. So snap that in and then lay the rest down and snap all the clips in. All right. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.